Hi, and welcome back to my dream boat project. Well, the sun's been out. It's actually very warm outside. It's probably about, ooh, I'd say close to 35, 40 degrees. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to be working on the bulkheads. But I'm doing, uh, well, let me show you what I'm doing. It'll be a lot easier. Okay, right here I have my number three bulkhead. I'm going to be doing this to all the other ones, so I'll just show you on one so you don't have to watch all of them. Now you can see I have the bulkhead cut out, and yesterday I measured these slots over here and got them all the right length and the right width. This is the width of the plywood, and look at that, how it, how it fits right in there. Isn't that cool? So it needs to fit right in. might be a little tight here, so I'm going to loosen that up a bit. So you want it to fit freely. There we go, just like that one there. See how smoothly that went? And so I got the slots all done. And then I have these inside lines that when I get the bulkhead, well, first of all, the bulkhead is going to be with the point up in the air so I could put the shell on the bulkhead. But when the whole shell of the boat is over, we're going to flip the bulkhead over. And this inside area where I cut slightly, that is going to be the inside of the boat that I walk through. And of course, this is going to be the floor. And uh, so anyways, that needs to be completely cut out once the boat is flip over. But for right now, it needs to stay there because it's going to be holding the boat up. So what I'm doing to make it easier is I got these inside lines on the plans. And you can see where it starts over there. There's a line, then I cut some of it, and you can see how the line goes. All the way down there, across, and all the way up there and to the top. So eventually, everywhere where that line is, the penciled line and the cut line, is going to be completely cut out. But for right now, we want it to be strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bunch of scraps, piece of wood like I did here, drill a couple holes in them, and then I'm going to go around places where I cut it, like right here, and put a screw on both sides to reinforce it, just to make sure it still has the strength. Another one there, another one here. So that's what I'm going to be doing uh, in this video, is cutting those blocks of wood, strengthening up the, uh, the slots, and then I'm going to be cutting these slots you know, along the lines on all my other bulkheads. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here's one of the scraps I'm going to start with. I got a bunch of other scraps if I need more, and I got a bucket, I just kicked the bucket, don't do that at home folks, <laughs> and let's go ahead and get started. pieces now. Put that over there. Next step is to drill them. I need to drill holes. So let's go ahead and take the pieces. Just like plain poker, right? Here's all my chips. I'm put the bucket over here. There we go. And now it's just time to drill these. So Again, you can drill them at least just far enough to be able to go over the slots. Okay, so see your strength on the side. It's not a big thing. You tell it's a beautiful day outside. You can hear birds like crazy. Here are chains on the distance, so people are up there having fun. Of course, with all this nice warm weather, uh, the ice has been melting, so it's not really a great idea for going ice fishing anymore. So I'm getting the fever for this boat. I want to get it going. I want to get it out on the water, so I'll probably be working on it all summer long, so I want to get a head start on it. Earlier I get going, the more progress I made, more excited I get, more work I do on it. <laughs> I 
I guess this is what I would hire an apprentice for, right? To do all the fun work for me. So if any of you are looking for apprentice work, <laughs> whoa! Got the airplane out here. There are probably oh, I'd say four miles from the nearest airport. Small airport, so we saw scare people flying overhead. Almost done. did was I went out and got screws specifically for this and uh, they are one inch screws because I'm going through two half inch pieces of wood so I figure I'm not going to have a, a lot hanging on the other end and I won't get scratched up when I'm working on the bulkheads so I'm going to go ahead and get these going let me go ahead and move you over here so I don't knock you over I don't want to hurt you guys Okay, so now it's just a matter of getting the screws out and going to it. It's not a major thing, it's just something to reinforce it. Just so I don't have trouble later on. And I'm going to have trouble with that one because I already stripped the screw. Let's get that one out. I don't want to have trouble later on. There we go. See that? You can see that's a lot looser there. These holes, the holes when I take out a block of wood, are just going to be filled in with epoxy in a way. And that should be all set. I'm going to put one more here because I can see it's a lot wobblier. Is that a word? Over here. There we go. Just to make sure she don't go nowhere. And I think we're done. Let me go ahead and Pick this up. So now you can see, let's see if I can pick that up. So it's all. All the braces to hold it in everywhere and we should be all set. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on the other ones afterwards. And I will see you in the next video to let you know where I'm going with it then. Hey, I want to thank you all for 
being such loyal viewers. I'm so excited to have had a site. Uh, my dream boat project is a dream of mine <laughs> to just have had it such a short time and have so many viewers and so many great comments. I'm getting to know a lot of you folks, make friends all already. Uh, that's pretty exciting because once the boat is built, I'm going to need somebody to fish with. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> and of course, once this boat's built, we're going to be out fishing and having a great time while I'm building my next build, which is going to be our liveaboard boat. So we could travel the Great Loop and up and down the East Coast from here to Florida and uh, Bahamas and all that. <laughs> and I hope to be able to meet a lot of you with a little boat. And if not, with the big one. We can go fishing, have dinner, and just get to meet each other on the boat. So I want to thank you all for watching. Hope to meet a lot more of you and make friends. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. This way it'll help me to build this site quicker. Hit that thumbs up if you like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.